Hello friends. I wanted to vlog today to share an experience that I've just had that I'm still having um, that, that I just, I want to remember forever because it's so special and because it's, it just, it's, it's beautiful on another level that I've never experienced. And, and I feel like this stuff just keeps happening more and more. And it's like, it's amazing. It's so amazing. But yeah, I just, I want to capture this, this moment. So, um, basically I'm a little bit of a mess here. You can kind of see my face. Um, I'll get into why started kind of the other day, the other day we're at the kids school. Uh, they have the best school ever. And, uh, there's this like Christmas thing that's happening, right? It's like, there's, you know, like you, you walk down the school and there's lots of little arts and crafts that people have made that they're selling for Christmas. Uh, and then uh, proceeds are going to help benefit the school to, to raise money for the school. Really cool. Well, the kids like wanted to buy everything, right? And obviously we couldn't buy everything, <clears throat> but on one of the, uh, tables, it, it was just empty. And there was just like a random stick just sitting on the table. And I told the kids, I'm like, wow, look at this. It's a free stick for Christmas. And they're like, what? And I'm like, oh, I'm going to take it. Oh, and they're like, that's, that's not, it's just a stick. I'm like, just a stick, huh? And they're like, it's not for sale. I'm like, well, it was on the table. It's for free, a hundred percent off. And they're like, oh my gosh, dad. And of course, me being me, I, I rolled into it and just like leaned into like, this stick is the best stick that has ever sticked. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I have been talking about the stick, using the stick, doing all sort of everything I can use the stick for. I've been doing it and just like for a couple of reasons, one, because I'm just being silly, but two, because I'm trying to like help the kids uh, understand how even things that are free can be, can be special. And sometimes, you know, the free things in life are the most special and, and are the best and, you know, yeah, yeah. So I, um, I've been doing all sorts of things. Like I said, yesterday at work, I, I went to, to work and I made like this really, <laughs> really funny movie with a 3D scan version of the stick. So using all of my crazy virtual production animation technology, I 3D scanned the stick and then put it into a virtual space and made this hilarious film. And the kid, and at first, like it's a really cool film, like you don't realize it's about a stick. And then by the middle of it, all of a sudden, there's sticks everywhere until there's giant sticks. And then the end, it ends with just a stick rotating with a magical light on it, like, oh. <laughs> The kids are like, dad, and then my iPhone screen has the stick on it. And, and I, I, I read them like, uh, uh, stories. I used chat GPT last night, uh, to tell like really funny stick stories for bedtime because <laughs> it was fun. I was like, okay, what does a stick do? Okay. Da -da -da -da. I'll tell you a story about that. It was so fun. So much fun. Anyway, I got so much cuddles last night because uh, Kristen, my wife had to go to a, um, it was like a, like a hangout, a meeting with all of, uh, like, like a bunch of other like moms from our kids school. And they're just talking about like their experiences or something. I don't know. It's a mom thing. So I got all the love last night and it was just so, so good. And I loved it so much. And I was so happy with the kids. Fast forward this morning and both of them are just so lovey on me, you know, I mean, they're always lovey on me, but like, there's just something different this morning. And, and then something happened. Atlas was playing Minecraft as he loves to do. Cause he loves to build things. Atlas is playing Minecraft and, and Chell is just hanging on me, loving on me, kissing on me, just telling me how much she loves me. And then she sat on my lap and she just looked at me right in the face. She's about this far from me. And she's just moving my face and changing it in all different ways and seeing what kind of facial expressions I could do. And as she was doing it, I was just watching her eyes. I was watching, just seeing the wonder and seeing how I could still see that little girl, that little, that little baby. I could see that the little first expressions. I could see all of these things. And, and as I was watching her just look at my face and remembering all the details of my face, I was, I was, examining the details of her face and just how beautiful she is and how lucky I am and all of this stuff. And, and then my creative brain went far into like, when she grows up, like, 
what's she going to be like? These little things, these little micro expressions that she has, she's still going to have, and she's going to be older, and she's going to have her own kids someday. And maybe she'll remember this moment just like I'm going to remember this moment. And I just like, I started to tear up because I was just so in love with that moment. And it was so happy and so pure and so amazing. Like even right now, just thinking about it, I'm starting to like tear up a little bit. I, um, I'm such an emotional guy. I, um, I had to like take a break. I had to take a break. It was so intense, the love and, and the moment, and it was so beautiful and so intense. I, I was like, all right, I got to get dressed because I was, I was just in my PJ still. And so she walked in the closet and picked out the clothes I was supposed to wear today. So the child picked out my, my clothes. And then um, you know, I was like, okay, get out. I got to get dressed. And so she left. And as soon as she left, I bawled. I just bawled. I was, I was, I was ugly crying happy crying but like oh my god I was just like oh I can't go back out there yet no I can't like this is you know Kristen's walking and Kristen's not feeling too good today unfortunately but I told her I said I'm, I'm I don't know why this is just it's so happy I can't I can't stand it uh, but I could you know like all these things and so I cleared myself out and then I opened the door and of course Chell's sitting there waiting at the door for me to just to hold her again and I got down to her level and I said do you see my face right now? I've been crying. She goes, why? Because I love you so much. I love you so much that it made me so happy I couldn't hold the emotions. There was so much that I love you so much that I started crying. She goes, I love you too, daddy. And she just hold me. She's like, piggyback ride? I said, okay. So I gave her a piggyback ride all the way across the house. And, and I sat her down next to Atlas because I had to get them dressed for school as I do in the mornings. And then I started getting hit again with other emotions, thinking, why couldn't I have had a dad like this? Why couldn't I have had a dad that loved me this much and cared about me this much? I feel like my whole life, I've kind of had dad issues, you know, because like my, the, the guy that I call my dad died when I was very young. I was five, four or five. And, and while I don't have any like solid memories of him, I hate that I don't have any solid memories. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I have moments. And this was one of those moments that I had this flashback to Larry. And it was very similar to what I was doing with Chell where I was looking at his face and moving his face. And, and it's weird because all of a sudden I could see his face. And I could see from my perspective, from Chell's perspective, moving his face and doing all the same sorts of things and just examining him and like loving him. And, and I just like, whoa, whoa. And I had to like take a break because I started, it was like, it was like those like in the movies where they're like flashbacks, right? That stuff that I'd forgotten. And it just like my, 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 you know, I felt the frog in my throat and all that stuff. I was like, whoa, is that what that is? And then, and then, oh man, just emotions everywhere. And then, and then like all of a sudden I started feeling other emotions for my biological father, which I've never talked about on this channel or publicly. There's a very dark past for me with that stuff. And it has affected a lot of my life. And, and, and more so now that I have become a dad. I wasn't sure if I was going to talk about this stuff. But you know what? I think it's kind of important to because I'm here as a dad and, and here trying to, I, I want this out. I, I want, I want my kids to be able to see this later and myself to see this later. But my biological father, when I was young, tried to kill me. 
my very first memory that I have, my first memory, I, I can't even say it out loud um, because of how awful and how yeah I can't say it out of respect for my mother I, I can't tell you what it is but let's just, let's just say it was so bad he was horribly drunk I was probably two years old beatings he was beating my mother. And then something really, really awful, really awful happened in front of me. And my mom told me, screamed at me to go get in the closet, get in the closet, hide in the closet. And so I went in the closet. And I looked out of the closet and I saw horrible... Disturbing, disturbing, disturbing. And it's it's been a, a memory that has been like in my head forever. And, and, and I have all these other memories of my biological father doing all of these horrible, horrible things. And for many years, I tried to just forgive him and, 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 and to forget. But it's like, it's hard. And for many years, I did. And I, I, I forgiven him and, and I, and I moved on and I forgot whatever. And, and I just accepted him as a person that just did a lot of horrible things. And, and throughout my life, as I grew up, I went to go visit him several times. And every time I visited him, it's like something horrible would happen every time. There wasn't a single time where it didn't. Something would happen. The last time I saw him, the very last time I saw him wasn't horrible, but was still different. But anyway, I won't go too much further into that. My my thing is being someone who never had a father figure. That I like I, I don't I don't have the memories that I wish I had of the father that I loved the most. But I have all the memories of the dad that did horrible things. I love my children so incredibly much, so much. I I can't I can't imagine how someone could not love their children. I can't imagine, I can't even fathom how a father can't love the purest souls. If you if you can't love children, your own children, children in general. I, I love children. How can you love it all? How can you be a decent person? How can you like love yourself? If you can't love the purest of humanity, the simplest, purest, most beautiful form, how can you even love yourself? It's a sad thing. I'm very grateful to be the dad that I am. Beyond grateful. I, just the, the level of gratitude that I have is through the roof. And to have the love that I have with my family. Wow. It's amazing. I love myself. I love myself too. Well, it's weird to say just straight out, but you know I do. And I love people. I love the world. I love creative people. I love watching what people do. I love seeing love and, you know, and that sounds all cliche and stuff, but like there's just another, I feel like, I feel like the older I get, the more love I see, the more all of that. Going back to how I feel about my bi biological dad now, I, I've just kind of written him off. I'm not angry at him anymore. 
I'm more sad and disappointed for him because he made such horrible decisions in his life that are now like, there's no, like I'm not gonna invite him back into my life. Like he tried to commit suicide and, and in my head he succeeded. But God, I wish I would have had the kind of love that my kids have. At least I did. At one point, I just wish I had more. But I'm so glad that I get to give this to my children in the way they deserve. They deserve to have the best. And that's what I'm going to be. And that's what I'm doing my best to be <laughs> for my kids and for my wife, for my family. Anyway, that's, um, that's, that's all I wanted to share today. Just that. Life has been really great. I feel like I'm living in a dream. I, all these things I'm doing in this world right now are incredible. Like this is the life I, I, I've wanted to live and I'm living it. I, I just, I feel like I have it all right now. It's a good feeling. Didn't always have it all. There's a lot more. The story, the story of mine goes way deeper. Maybe for another time. <laughs> Wasn't always this happy. Anyway, that's all. That's all I wanted to share. I just wanted to capture this moment because it was such a beautiful moment. I hope you are having a great day. And, and if you're not having a great day, know that great days come. And great days go. And then they come back again and they just, that's life. It's a roller coaster. We know that, right? But have a great day today. Regardless of how you're feeling today, I want you to have a great day. I hope that this feeling that I have in some way, shape, or form comes across here to you. I hope you feel that. I hope you got a dad that you still love, love him. And tell him, call him, say something. And if it's just your mom, call your mom. And if you don't have your mom or your dad, call somebody. Just today, today find love. Feel that love. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Maybe we'll show you the new house. Ah, that's finally done. <laughs> Bye. Oh, wait. Goodbye.